and it brings the president back to where he was when he took office. Finally, some good news on the job front. Things appear to be headed in the right direction. We found out that the unemployment rate has fallen to its lowest level since I took office. About half of the jobs lost since the 2008 recession are back. The unemployment rate dropping in September to 7.8 percent, down from 8.1 percent in August. That's good news for President Obama and coming just days after a disappointing performance in the first debate. Uh, he and his allies will be using that as a strong talking point uh, today to try to get the, uh, the narrative, the conversation uh, uh, somewhat away from the Wednesday night debate. It's no coincidence both candidates spent Friday in Virginia, a state where Americans are already casting ballots in early voting. But each had a different take on the jobs report. It's a reminder that this country has come too far to turn back now. We don't have to stay on the path we've been on. We can do better. Mitt Romney's campaign is now building off the momentum he gained after the first debate and using the opportunity to be candid with Americans about that caught on tape moment that's been dogging his campaign, saying 47 percent of Americans don't pay federal income taxes. In this case, that says something that's just completely wrong. Appearing on Fox News Thursday morning, Romney backtracking, saying he cares about 100 percent. And this whole campaign is about the 100 percent. When I become president, it will be about helping the 100 percent. Romney will be in Florida over the weekend. He's working to narrow Obama's advantage in one of a handful of key swing states, states that will likely determine the outcome of this competitive race. Nicole Grether, The Associated Press.